Hi viewers, welcome to all. Here we are discussing about a project, a high-speed FPGA-based true random number generator using meta stability with clock manager. The true random number generator is often known as a TRNG or essential components of a wide variety of critical security applications. The digital-based solutions are highly needed, particularly when they need to be implemented on field programmable gate array-based digital systems. In this research, a NQ technique uh, that makes the design of a TRNG on FPGA devices more straightforward in describe. In order to adjust the phase shift between two clock signals, it takes use of the runtime capability of the hardware primitive provided by the digital clock manager. The auto-tuning approach that is being given automatically adjusts the phase difference between two clock cycles uh, in order to compel one or more flip-flops to enter the meta stability zone. So this work was built in 32 and 64 data width in Berlo HDL and synthesized in Xilinx Zinc FPGA. All the parameters were evaluated with regards to area latency and power consumption. Now we can verify the base paper. So this base paper is fully focused for the TRNG to random number generator. Okay. So here they are given a overall architecture in figure 2 okay so initially they are given as a clock input okay and finally we are taken as a trng output okay so in between we have dcm carry 4 fsm flip flops xr gate and 32 bit shift registers on chip post processing circuit okay everything it will have okay the first circuit is dcm okay digital clock manager the dcm clock manager will have generated using uh, 300 mahertz developed the input frequency is 100 mahertz okay and uh, the output frequency is 300 mahertz is the maximum frequency okay so as per that the dcm uh, digital clock manager will be generated okay and the output of digital clock manager will be given to this carry 4 input okay so and this fsm uh, they are given the descriptions of fsm in this paragraph okay as per that we have created the finite state machine architecture so once the clock input came the fsm checks the t equal to 0 if the t equal to 0 it's enable given to psen and the psinc dec okay so the signal psinc dec and uh, after that it will check uh, the n equal to 20 clock cycle so here n equal to 20 still the monitoring the value of the signal t okay so up to that we need to wait in the finite state machines after that it will goes to init state okay that is the state machine of this finite state machine operation okay so once uh, the enable came uh, this multiplexer will switch out this constant value and the feedback output okay so this constant value will helpful to uh, start the acquisition part of the trng after that it will come with the loopback operation okay so and this is a flip flops okay so once we got uh, four input flip flops we need to sample it using four flip flops and after that it will be exert and uh, final uh, flip flop with the exert with the synchronization of clock input okay and after that we are given this to 32 bit shift register okay and the output of this 32 bit shift register given to on chip post processing okay so this on chip post processing circuit will be given here okay this is a 32 bit adder and bit flipping method okay so here this architecture the same architecture we have developed in 64 data with also okay so the output of dma controller uh, it's not briefly discussed about this paper this paper is fully focused for trng code okay now we can verify the Verla HTL coding. So here this is a TRNG core 32 bit. Okay, this is a test bench and this is a top model. Okay. So here we are given a differential clock cycle N 100 mahertz and P 100 mahertz. Okay. So this two differential clock cycle we are given into the DCM. Okay. So once the DCM part completed, the DCM will given a clock frequency uh, 300 mahertz. This 300 mahertz will given to the buff G that means buffer output of the buffer uh, we are taken as a PS clock and that clock cycle we are given into again DCM for 
loop back okay so after that this clock cycles we have used in the multiplexers carry finite state machines d flip flop exer d flip flops and uh, single bit and four bit shift registers on chip post processing method okay so this is a simulation for 32 bit so here this is a clock n 100 mars and clock p 100 mars and trng output so here you can check this is a random value for this 32 bit okay and uh, this is the acquisition time okay so here the once the acquisition time will be finished okay so we will given the enable signal to high okay so as per that the code will be work okay so then without any uh, conditions or any input okay so it will generate a random data okay and uh, this is a code for 64 bit data bit okay so here we are taken as a tr and the 64 bit data output okay so this is a simulation for 64 data width so the same method okay so here you can check the 64 bit random number okay and uh, this part we have synthesized in xyl links okay so here we can check the design summary number of slice registers number of flip flops number of LUTs, and number of occupied slicers okay and io base okay and uh, this is a rtl schematic for this paper so multiplexer carry 4 okay d flip flop exorder d flip flop shift registers on chip post processing fsm and dcm digital clock manager 300 mahertz okay and uh, this is a 64 data with uh, xyl length comparisons so slice registers lut's and occupied slices i have this okay and i want a uh, tail schematic we'll show that okay so this is a 64 data with code okay finally we'll get a 64 data with trn input we have written an abstract document and uh, we are put all the uh, comparison parameters values in the table okay so, so this is a 32 bit data width and 64 bit data width this is a comparison analysis chart okay and uh, this is abstract document base paper abstract enhancement of this project proposed title proposed abstract existing system disadvantages proposed system advantages and related notes literature survey finally references okay thank you if you need more video related to VLSI project, please like and subscribe this channel.